Trial Mountain, located in the mountainous regions of America, somewhere in the made-up worlds of GT7. 3.38 miles long, 0.83 miles is the longest straight on the circuit. 15 corners, 9 to the left and 6 to the right. 5 red lights! And it's lights out and away we go. No one jumps to start this time as Tiger Assassin's off to a good start. It's a Mercedes 1-2 that leads the field away in towards turn one. Dan Schneider tucks in behind his fellow Mercedes driver as Bon Evil looks to go down the inside of Tim in towards turn one. Pierre on the inside of Finn. In the background we've got Ted making the moves on ND. I think ND might, but might just have got the position ahead of the Irishman. Uh, as Ted still actually on the inside of the uh, of his fellow Irishman gets the move done ahead of ND. Down gaining two positions off the start as well. Finn downs a seventh place. I believe he started this race in sixth. But don't quote me on that. Someone's in the war. I think Legion might have oh, given the Subaru of Stan a, a little bit of a knock as they made their way through the first sector. Dan up into 10th place might try and capitalise on the possible damage sustained by the Subaru, but there is no damage. He's got away with it. He's starting on the medium compound tyres. I believe everyone is on medium tyres. as uh, Tiger with a 7 tenth lead already. Tim looking for a move on the inside of Bon Evil as they make their way down the back straight. For the first time this race, the Mercedes just tucks in behind the Genesis. There's a Mr. McLaren in the background looking racy. Piero launches one to the inside of Tim. Gets the move down up into fourth place and he might even try and set himself up for a move on Piero. Cameron can boon follows him through. What is happening to Tim at the start of the race? He's falling down like a rock in a pond. Uh, Cameron can boon almost rear ends the back of Piero making their way through turn 12. All this squabbling just allowed Tiger Assassin to get a little bit of a lead. It's not much, but it's nine tenths and I'm growing. It's now a second. A poor exit from Dan Schneider might have cost him the position to Bon Evil as they go side by side, door to door, and the run down towards turn one. Dan Schneider just tucks in behind Bon Evil for now. Look at Tim and Piero going side by side in the run down towards turn one, but it is Tim who gets the move down up into fourth place and ahead of the McLaren. Look how close the top seven are together two seconds separating seven cars that is incredible Cameron Gaboon now to the inside of Finn in towards the, the hairpin of turn four as they make their way through the tunnel not a lot of grip on the tunnel as Dan Schneider's ran wide onto the grass he's going to lose one two maybe three positions down to fifth place behind Piero ahead of Cameron Gaboon might try and capitalize on the dirty tires now on the Mercedes what is happening in this battle for fifth place Finn now to the inside Dan has he got damage he hasn't got damage but he's now got he's now dropped to sixth place in terms of ultimate will to will action speaking of Bonnie even now to the inside of the race leader Tiger Assassin who's now been demoted to second place we try the old switcheroo on the exit of turn nine but Bonnie will gets the move done up into the lead of the race maybe it's because uh, Finn he's got to serve a one second time penalty he falls over to the right hand side of the sack off the racing line quickly ungoes he goes down to sixth place down to seventh will he lose the position to Legion who's now will to will with the Ford Mustang yes he has otherwise it will result in a one minute time penalty here goes Tim now going for a move on the inside of Tiger Assassin down in towards turn nine late on the brakes Tiger gives him the room goes and takes a nice wide line and that, that is promotes Tim up into second place doesn't look like Tiger was too keen on fighting that one too hard scoring some good points as Wolfie's not here for tonight's race here goes Dan to the inside of Cameron Kaboom and now he gets up into fifth place it's the Mercedes 235 a good showing for the, uh, the German manufacturer. Tim now takes the lead in the race to the inside at turn four on your race leader, Bon Evil, who's now demoted to second place. Tim on a charge. He's gained two positions in the last lap, respectively. And now Tim leads this race. Here at Charm Mountain, we've had three different race leaders and we're only on lap seven. Four drivers now fighting away at the front. Bon Evil, Tiger Assassin, Piero and Attengren. Broken damage model. Tiger Assassin out to the inside of Bon Evil. Defensive into the final corner. Sorry, uh, uh, offensive into the final corner. He was in third. He's now in second. Bonnie loses an another position down and towards third place. But he's going to try and set himself up for a good run down the start finish straight for a move in towards the first corner. So now we wait for another opportunity. Turn nine is the uh, the easiest place to get a move done. Tiger's gone wide. He's gone deep in towards turn one. Can he defend the position? No, he can't. He drops to third place. Bonnie will swoop it around his outside. Gets up into second place and he's lost about seven, eight tenths. And there may be a couple of positions. Who was that? Was that Bonnie Pierre almost wall riding? He, he stopped on the track and maybe his controller his wheels disconnected but that's a, a really that's a, i don't know what's happened to piero what has happened to piero is he disconnected and it uh, looks like dan snyder's just lost lost touch of camera kaboom in front here's the chance that finn needs to go for a move now down the inside as they go door to door down the back straight 
Dan Schneider, though, much later on the break. Set spin up for move on the inside. Looks like there's contact between the Mercedes and the Mustang. There certainly is contact. They're now three wide as I think Legion now gets his wife into fifth place. Hits two birds with one stone. Might have been a little bit more contact. The Porsche looks out of control as Dan Schneider now goes down the inside of the American through the downhill section of turn 14. Defensive goes the Porsche as the Mercedes of Darren tries to work his way around the outside. Uh, opens the door for Finn though to look at a move on the inside. And this battle for fifth place is really starting to kick up. Dan Schneider trying to go around the outside in towards turn one. It's pretty risky, but beautiful if you can pull it off there. Finn maybe around the outside of turn two. The inside for turn three. And it's a beautiful move from Finn. At 120 miles per hour, stands following him through. Dan being caught napping. He's seen at the start of the race. Here goes Tiger now to the inside. Down the inside at turn one. He gets up into second place. Born Evil now demoted to third. He flashes his lights uh, at the Mercedes. Finn trying to go for a move on Leeds. Jim Neaton doing a good job keeping the German behind, but he's ran a little bit wide through turn eight. This could get a little bit chaotic at, at, down at the turn nine. We could be four wide at the end of this back straight. Here goes Finn on Legion. What about Stan and Dan Schneider? Where are they going to feature in this particular battle? What a beautiful camera angle. Through the tunnel we go, down the hill with the beautiful trees either side. Finn on the inside, Dan Schneider on the inside. Stan now down to eight places. as he's trying to get past Legion, who hits the wall on the outside. Doesn't get any damage. Somehow doesn't get any damage. Finn now into fifth place as Dan Schneider gets past Stan and beautiful, a beautiful move from the respective drivers. This is a situation on stream. Tiger now doing the inside of Bonnie with the top two. Uh, sorry, second and third place going side by side. Uh, wheel to wheel through the first sector, door to door. Bonnie will try to go around the outside, but he's in the wall and he's got damage. The battle for second place has exploded once again. It's not the first time that they've come together this season. Their first little incident at the Nürburgring and now uh, another one tonight here at Trial Mountain. Uh, looks like Tiger's just lifted off the throttle to let uh, Bon Evil catch back up. A little flash of the lights to say, uh, well, I, I appreciate that in some respects. Good sportsmanship from Tiger as Bon Evil now goes for a move on the inside in towards turn nine. Apologies, Costa. We'll get onto your situation in just a couple of, uh, couple of seconds uh, whilst we watch the battle for the uh, second place in the race. Tim now with a seven second advantage over Bon Evil and Tiger, squabbling for second place, but contact on lap 12 and damage to the Genesis, which has now eventually repaired itself. But absolutely crazy racing as uh, Legion now trying to get back past Stuart there, wheel to wheel through 9, 10, 11, and 12. Contact as the Porsche of Legion was temporarily perpendicular to the circuit. Here goes Stan now back ahead of the American. It's really kicking off for sixth place. What a race. Yeah. A selection. We've had Endy into the pits already. Where's Ted? Is Ted disconnected? He hasn't disconnected. He's just backed off because I don't think he's left. No, he hasn't left. He hasn't left the lobby, so he has just backed. Oh, no, there he is in fifth place. My apologies, Ted. I'm not used to seeing you so high up the grid. Oh, I'm so sorry. That is so. I'm so sorry. That is hard. <laughs> Due to the new update, Bon Evil now standing one to the inside of Dan. He's gone in a little bit deep. There might have been contact to the inside of the final corner. Rubbing forces Dan Snyder into the forces Dan Snyder into the wall. Forces Dan Snyder into the wall. I don't know where the P came from in that sentence. Been now up in seventh place, but Bon Evil barging his way through. Has Tiger got the jump on the British driver in towards turn one? Indeed, he has. Now up into fourth place. Ted is running in a podium position, ladies and gentlemen. This is not a drill. This is not a practice session. This is for real. Let's end the race now. Red flag it. Third place. He's in a podium position. Bonnie and Tiger Assassin going side by side once again through the middle sector. They came together at this corner once before. Can they keep it clean this time with Bonnie Evil round the outside? He's in the wall again, running wide onto the grass that lays on the outside of turn, um, turn seven. Through turn eight, they go wheel to wheel with Dan Schneider. Let's look on right on board from the rear of Tiger Assassin's rear wing. He's got a Genesis and a Mercedes side by side behind him looking angry in the background Bon Evil gets the jump ahead of the Mercedes Dan Schneider tucks into the zip through for now before putting over to the inside tucks back over to the racing line Tiger and Finn only six tenths behind the Mercedes oh is that Tiger off that's Tiger off he's in the wall he doesn't have damage but he's lost a few positions to
to the cars in front of his lot, uh, to the cars behind, sorry, now in front of the Mercedes, and it's the pole position curse that is striking once again. Tiger, who started this race on the front row of the grid, had all 12, 11 drivers behind him, sorry, and he's now in sixth place. Pole position is a curse in this GT7 season, but I've got a minute and a half to do nothing but praise uh, Mr. Atomgrin. He joined in Lago Maggiore after fixing his uh, wheel, which was broken, but it didn't take much to repair. Joined in that race, and uh, I can't actually remember where he finished. But uh, he was looking racy, and he was looking like a possible championship contender had he. I've been here in the first few races. But nevertheless, that's not going to deter him from giving it his all. He didn't start this race on pole position, but that might be a good thing because the pole sitter has never finished in the top three and he was stuck behind Bonnie and Tiger for a couple of laps. But he said, uh, well, you've, you two have led a, enough laps in this race. I'm going to stop saving my tyre, stop saving my fuel, and I'm going to give it a go. He got past Tiger, he got past Bonnie, and then in true Dutchy fashion, he put them in his mirrors and, uh, well, they were never to be seen again. Nailed the one stop doesn't look like he was going to get the first lap in this race after pitting on lap 28 to try and get it back he rounds the final corner for the final time he's got one straight to go your fly flying fin is back and he wins here at trial mountain he claims the checkered flag at round four and claims 30 points on his return to the gc7 league only a second race and his championship fight is back on Bon Evil finishes on the podium for the first time this season in second place. Ahead of Finn, who makes it another podium for him. But it's a German manufacturer who maintains its 100% win record. And it is Atom Graham who takes the top step of the podium.